Jim Spandov. I'm an illustrator, artist, creative, based in Sheffield, from the Midlands. It was never like a choice that I made to actually draw, you know what I mean? I didn't, I never thought like, yeah, I want to be good at drawing and, and that's what I'm, it, I just did it, like it was just what I did and, and I never really thought anything of it. I kind of developed a style of work just through making work. I rarely have like, like the image in my head. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't have like the final image in my head, like when I start anything. I kind of like to have like a rough idea, but then it develops on its own, and it, so so it becomes something that sort of flows more natural than than like, yeah, that is exactly what I saw in my head. I like to put detail in. Like, if you look at like the, the LA series that I did for for my degree show, if, if you really like looked closely you'd see like cigarette butts in the gutter and do you know what I mean like that sort of thing like that that influenced my style as well a lot of the uh, things that are growing out of the things that I draw at the minute have came from like Japanese flower arrangements so I watched a documentary on like Japanese it's called The Art of Japanese Life there was like this whole section on like flower arrangements and how they put this care into it and, and then like whatever I was kind of doing at the time kind of like fed into it, do you know what I mean? So, so the cycling pieces was like when I was really into like riding my bike and then there was that crossover of like the cycling thing with the nature thing. Nature kind of just flows with the way things are, do you know what I mean? It doesn't try and like change the way things are, it just kind of flows and I think that's, because that's how I try and live, that's how, that's what I try and put into the work as well. You know what I mean? So there's always an element of like yourself in the work. I kind of like that. There's a, there's a thing of like the in contemporary art. There's a thing of like removing the artist from the work. I don't really try and do that. You know what I mean? Like I try and put like myself into the work because it's it's kind of relatable that way, isn't it? Like people can relate to the same things you can. Everyone's got something that they can relate on. So. That's it's quite interesting because like that's the only time when you can like really like see your work objectively. Cause up until that like you still have like a connection to it when you when you're doing it, do you know what I mean? When you go back to it like a few months later. I like doing uh, exhibitions and, and putting shows on because I think like my work has like that side to it too where you could like pull out like a, a meaning if you wanted to, do you know what I mean? But like, I don't always need like a brief to work to it, do you know what I mean? I think through learning like the conceptual side of things, like I feel like there's another side to my work that means that it could be in, in shows too, I could, I could put an exhibition on with the work. So I, I personally think that like it's, it like helps me to just be like a calmer person. And that's like probably why I drew when I was young. You know what I mean? That's probably why I've always done it. It was just like, that was just what I did. Like, it was the place that I went to, to, to just go be quiet. Do you know what I mean? It was like my time. Like, just, just your everyday life. The, the little captions, that, the little bits of writing that I've got in it, usually have some sort of link to like, I don't know, like a situation that I'm in at the time or like the way I'm feeling at the time. Do you know what I mean? That everything kind of feeds into it. So that's kind of what inspires it. I have this feeling that like, that like obviously every, like not, not to be like too deep and weird about it, but like every, every situation in your life, like every decision you make in your life leads you to the point you're at. So any piece of work you've ever made, every decision you've made previously has led you up to that point of making the work. So I kind of feel like everything just kind of feeds into it like that, do you know what I mean? That's kind of what, that's what inspires it, I suppose. There's not any one set thing, I suppose it's just like, it could be life. <laughs> just life and stuff. <laughs>